Hey everyone, welcome to Open. I'm Rina Valentin, your host of Café con Leche for the next hour, encouraging you to get social with us online. That is, tweet us and follow us on Instagram at Bronxnet TV and like us on Facebook at Open Bronxnet Television. And of course, while you're there, you can follow moi on Twitter, FB, Instagram, Insta Stories, and LinkedIn at Rina Valentin. So Thanksgiving is, well, it's right around the corner and it's a time where we gather together with family and friends. However, things will be very different this year due to the pandemic. As COVID cases continue to rise in New York City, many people have concerns on proper ways to celebrate Thanksgiving this year. And joining us to share some safety tips for the holiday season, please welcome Chair of SBH Health Systems, Department of Medicine, Dr. Edward Telzak. Hi and welcome, doctor. Thank you for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so um, I'm assuming uh, you, everything's good over there. We're not moving at a rapid pace like we were back in March and April, but the idea is that we're trying to make sure that we prevent that from happening again, correct? Uh, from, from your lips to God's ear. Yeah, <laughs> and so it is. And so um, let's just share with our viewers uh, what these primary recommendations are that are being made to just basically operate from a really conscious place of being uh, safe and healthy. Right. Well, I think one of the great challenges is that Thanksgiving um, uh, is really the holiday that helps us with isolation, that helps us reconnect to family and friends. And the uh, COVID pandemic has created enormous isolation and separation. And so we're all looking forward to Thanksgiving. Um, however, we've also learned that gatherings in households is now becoming one of the great drivers of the COVID, what's slowly becoming recognized as a potential second surge. So household gatherings are in fact quite dangerous. Um, and uh, so holiday plans, Thanksgiving plans, um, it would be my very strong guidance, need to be modified to take into consideration the increasing rates of COVID in the Bronx and in New York City. And so, so there are, number, yeah, there are yes. a number of important general principles that, um, that need to be followed, that should be followed for everyone to make Thanksgiving as safe as possible. So the safest way to celebrate Thanksgiving is to do it virtually or only with members of your own household. This poses the lowest risk, is not typically how we think of Thanksgiving, um, but that really is the safest way. Um, and uh, so your own household is, is um, people, so, Rather, let me say, people who do not currently live in your household should be considered part of a different household. And the more different households that you have at a Thanksgiving event, the higher the risk of COVID transmission. And different households can include your adult children, uh, children returning from college, uh, your closest friends, they are a different household and they can pose a risk for COVID transmission. But if you do decide to gather with different households, on the there are various factors that you should consider. So for example, uh, what is the size of the gathering and how many different households will you have? Um, so a gathering of you know, more than 10, uh, is dangerous. I would say a gathering of more than five with two or more different households is probably presents an unnecessary risk. Uh, what is the community level of COVID? Right now in the Bronx, it's three and a half percent. So it's approaching a dangerous number. It's more than twice what it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what's the location of the gathering? Is there any way it could be done outdoors? Outdoors is always safer than indoors. How long will the gathering last? Is it a half hour event? Or is it something that's gonna fold, you know, last in the afternoon, evening till late at night? Or are people gonna sleep over? The more time people spend together, the greater risk. Right. And so, and 
What about the size of, of, a, of a location, right? The, because that plays a role. I mean, we're all supposed to be six feet apart. And, and what, what if somebody just kept their mask on throughout the entire time? Well, I think that if you're spending time with someone, so the size is very important because the size impacts how crowded you are. And basically, the, the recommendation based on a lot of data are that people should always be wearing a mask and should always be six feet apart if they're going to be spending time, a uh, considerable time with other people. With so other people in, in indoors and indoors, indoors as well, right? Indoors. Right. So my yeah. last question before we go is, do you recommend that people get tested for COVID? Uh, how far in advance prior to Thanksgiving or like right before, because it's so questionable with the, the turnover of results. And then there's also that possibility that anything can happen from the time that you get tested and then you get together. Well, it's also, it, you know, you could still, so basically I think testing makes it one step safer. Okay. Um, and especially the closer you are to Thanksgiving. So if you get tested on Tuesday, you get a result on Wednesday, uh, or Thursday morning, um, and you've been careful for those intervening two days, that's pretty good, okay? But you gotta make sure that all your guests have tested. And are you gonna make your guests uh, present documentation? It's a very challenging thing, and it's not so easy to get tested in a timely manner anymore. So right. I would say yes, if you can get tested on the Monday or Tuesday before the Thursday, and then be very careful in those intervening days, that would be something that would make the event safer. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Edward Telzak, of, I, uh, Chair of the Department of Medicine at uh, St. Barnabas Hospital. You guys, we're just providing recommendations on how to have a safer Thanksgiving. And in the end, I think the doctor was alluding to, it's probably best to just cook at home and be with your immediate household and just celebrate virtually. So happy Thanksgiving to you all. And thank make you very sure much. Thank you, doctor, and make sure it's a safe one. And if you're interested in any additional safety recommendation tips, you can visit cdc.gov. All right, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear how one organization is preparing to deliver Thanksgiving meals for those in need this holiday season. Don't go anywhere.